hey there hippies welcome back welcome back it's your girl courtney shavante and i am here with another banging tutorial but before we get started you know the drill make sure you do hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss anything i put out for you guys moving forward so today's super fun tutorial is going to be a set of interlocking coasters this one comes with the um combo set from my previous video which i will link for you above below um, or above I'm not sure where it's gonna pop in it so we'll watch out for that but I'm basically just prepping a hundred milliliters of resin and then I'm coloring it using white mica powder and I'm just going to make sure that I stir it up very very well and get it mixed well you see me spraying some alcohol into the actual cup to help um, minimize the bubbles that are in there as well then from here I'm just ensuring that the mold is clean and then I'm going to pour um, a nice layer in here and try to make it as even as possible between each of the different little pieces and everything. So from here you're just going to push it make sure that it's um, a nice even layer and that it completely covers the um, mold surface bottom and everything and then you're going to allow this some time to cure. All right, so once that's had a chance to fully cure overnight, I'm just going to take this Pabio, um paint. It I'm opening it for the first time. This is actually the first time I'm using this particular paint and everything, so I'm pretty excited to try this out. I'm actually um, using another one of Nadia's videos from Leodia Designs to get this inspiration and everything, so I'm super excited to try this out. Like I said in the other video that I'll be linking um, previously, that she's a big inspiration of mine. I discovered her on Instagram, so do make sure you definitely check out Miss Nadia at Leodia designs but what I did was I went ahead and opened up my paint tube um, it creates this nice thin um, kind of chunky layer of paint that's nice and textured and from here I'm creating just this rough randomized random line um, kind of interlocking and connecting all these different pieces and everything and then I'm coming in creating some spaces where the geode will sit and where I think it'll look at naturally and I'm making sure that they kind of connect I like the way that looks especially with these coasters already being interlocking um so yeah I'm just going to speed this up for you guys and let you enjoy this portion Alright hippies, so now it's time for the fun part. These are two glitter mixes that I have coordinating and everything. And I also have my polyurethane, the Brightone polyurethane. Um, I'll have it linked below for you that I did get it off Amazon and a little bit does go a very long way. So keep that in mind. Um, what I do is I just went ahead and mix up my chunky blue glitter that I made. And then I'm using my brush to fill this inside the large parts where I was going to be placing um, that geode that I was telling you guys about. So inside those empty like little cups and everything, you're just going to go ahead and stack this in there. Now, don't go over the gold lines. You do want to make sure that you use the gold lines as more of a kind of outline and everything. So that way it kind of keeps the integrity of this geode and everything. So definitely make sure you do look out for that. But yeah, you just see me stacking this in here. I'm just trying to make sure that they're 
isn't any like empty space or anything and then making sure this layer is nice and thick because we are going to be covering this in a smoothing layer later so no worries about the thickness just make sure it doesn't go over the top of the mold or anything like that so just flatten it down but it is okay if it has a bit of texture it's completely fine Alright, so once that blue is pretty much dry and it's had a chance to, you know, get hard and everything, what you're going to do is you're just going to add some polyurethane to that fine glitter mix. I use a pinkish toned one. It does have some blue reflex in there to help complement the blue geode and everything as well. So I'm just using a very thin brush to go into that outline part that I did around the geodes and everything just to create some dimension in here and make this look a little bit more realistic as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of doing this similarly to what I was doing before and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this portion as well because it's pretty self-explanatory and everything. Um, so yeah, enjoy! Alright hippie, so here you see me prep about 100 milliliters of resin here and then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I do distribute this evenly across all the different pieces of the mold and I want to make sure that we submerge all those glitter pieces and everything. Everything should be completely dry at this point um, so you shouldn't have any issues with glitter moving around or anything like that especially if you follow the steps that I told you before previously. Um, so yeah just make sure that you pour all this resin out um, it's fine if it doesn't completely fill it up because we are going to be coming through doing a nice doming layer this will not be our final layer so just go ahead and push everything into place make sure that the resin is nice and even and that you don't have any gaps you want to minimize the amount of gaps that you do have here 
and then of course you're just going to spray with some alcohol and then you're going to allow this to cure Once your resin is done curing, you're going to come in. Um, I made, I think this is about 20 or 30 milliliters of resin here. And what you see me doing is I'm just going over each individual um, mold piece and everything. I'm not doing the middle piece because the middle piece is fine. Um, but the all the little four pieces of the coasters and everything, you see me just kind of spreading this out and I'm pushing um, the resin into each corner. I'm going along each individual edge and I'm just making sure completely I have, I'm on the floor and I'm eye level with the mold right now just to make sure that I can use the um, light to confirm that there aren't any gaps. And then from there I'm just using my toothpick and also my heat gun to further even everything out and push it all around and make sure that I have everything nice and even and gap because like I said we're not perfect but we're gonna get as close to perfect as we can okay all right hippie so yeah go ahead and just continue on with that and then once you have it how you need it all your bubbles are gone everything's nice and clean you're gonna let that cure 24 hours all right at that 24 hour mark everything's nice and hard so you're able to go ahead and wiggle this from your mold once you get it free from your mold and everything, you're just going to take off the little excess pieces. You can use your nail, um, you can use some type of tool if you like. Um, I use my nail. And then from here, I just go over it with the sanding block and I just make sure that I have everything nice and sand it down and nice and even because we don't want it scratching any furniture and we don't want anyone's fingers getting cut up either. So that's very important to me. Um, feel free to angle this um, sanding block to the side or however you need to to get inside those little spaces as well. Just try to be careful not to scratch the front part of that geode coaster and everything because we already had the doming layer on here and you don't want to mess that up. You want it to be nice and scratch free so that way it glimmers perfectly in the sunlight. So yeah, once you have everything sanded down, go ahead and hit that middle piece. That middle piece may be a little bit difficult, so do take your time with it. Uh, make sure you get all those nooks and crannies and everything. This is very important that everything is smooth, so that way when we go to our next layer, we don't have any issues at all. So what you're going to do next is just make sure you clean up that area, get all the dust up, and then you're just going to spray some alcohol and use that um, paper towel and just clean off any extra dust that may have collected on there from when you were sanding everything down to get it all nice and sparkly clean. Alright, so now it's time for one of the fun parts. This part can be a bit tedious and everything, so do definitely get comfortable, take your time. It was a bit difficult for me to do this on camera, but I sped it up for you guys. What I'm basically doing is I'm taking my paint acrylic marker, and then I'm just going across the edges of each of these pieces individually. And you want to make sure that you have nice even lines and do nice even strokes and everything so that way um, everything's lined up nicely. You see me using the edge of my marker to kind of go around the edge to create a fill in line. It kind of creates a nice outline for me. Um, if you do have any mistakes or anything, just feel free to grab that paper towel that you had and then just wipe it off um, get some alcohol if necessary but it shouldn't be as long as it's not dry um, then from there you're just going to go ahead and do that with each every individual piece and everything and then you're going to let that dry so I'm going to let you go ahead and enjoy this part
Once that layer is completely dry, what you're going to do is you're just going to get some polyurethane, the bright tone polyurethane, um, and you're just going to put that in a little cup, get a brush, and then you're just going to paint it on top of the paint acrylic marker. And then this is just going to create a nice layer, a nice barrier, so it keeps the paint from getting scraped off so easily, especially with these being interlocking. They're going to be brushing up against each other a lot, and you don't want to, to create little holes and everything from the paint getting brushed off. And then after I finish painting the edges, I'm just putting it on top of these little blocks and everything. Um, you can use medicine cups if you don't have doming blocks, just flip them upside down or whatever and then just sit it on top. So that way it doesn't get onto the surface after you paint it on there. And when I'm painting it on here, I am not using it a whole, I'm not using a whole lot. You literally just need a nice thin coat on here. Just make sure it completely covers the blue part so that way it does not scrape off. Because if you are familiar with acrylic paint, you paint, then you know it does scrape pretty easily sometimes. So yeah, you're just going to go ahead and get that on each surface and everything. Um, and get it how you like it. If you're liking this glitter and everything and how it looks, make sure you check out my Etsy shop. I will be releasing some and my Etsy shop is linked below as always. So do check that out, hippies. Um, I have some very unique stuff on there and I'm sure you're gonna love it as much as you love my tutorials. All right, hippies, so once that's completely dry, this is what our finished product is. They are completely beautiful and stunning. I love how these turned out. Thank you, Miss Nadia, for the inspiration. I love how this blue looks. I love how it just glimmers in the sunlight. I love how these geos just look on here. Um, I love the randomness. I love that this is completely unique and will never be replicated like ever again. Like it's pretty much impossible it's so beautiful i love how this pink and blue mix it complements the blue so well you can hardly even tell it's really pink and i really really like that that's kind of what i was going for a bit to be honest and i really love how it just outlines the center of that geode i love how they connect and whatnot and how they just kind of line up with each other they are so stunning what do you guys think i love to hear your feedback feedback is a gift so do make sure that you are leaving comments for me down below so that way i can read them and everything and also make sure you hit that like button so that we um it boosts the algorithm for me and this way videos are pushed out to more people who would enjoy this content and everything and it just helps me grow and be able to create more content for you guys but yeah look how this piece just snaps in here yes yes i have definitely outdone myself with this set but yeah tell me how much you love it below hippies and until next time xoxo Mwah!